Mistress Safi here. If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button and also make sure you're hitting that notification bell because I upload three times a week. And today's video is a video where I'm going to be trying out two products. One is something I've never used before and the second product is a product well, I have to have in my hair right now. It is the Perfective Mega Growth Anti-Breakage um, Strengthener Deep Conditioner. Now, I've never used this product before. I've seen this brand in the store, and I believe I may have used some products from this brand many years ago, but I saw this, and I decided to give it a try. If I like it, maybe I can put you guys up onto something new. This product is very inexpensive. It's less than... $10. I found it in my local Walmart, as I said, and it has a great smell. It smells like bubble gum, and it has a very thick consistency, but it's creamy, so it melts into the hair really well. So basically what I did was I massaged it into my edges, and then I also just raked the product through all over my strands of my hair. I'm going to put a plastic cap on it and sit under my heat cap for about 20 to 30 minutes and then I will rinse it out. The second product that I'm using is something I used on my channel many years ago, about two years ago, before the hype, before everybody else was using it. So I will link that video in the description box and in the cards above. It is the Wetline Extreme Gel. I have the one here in blue. I also ordered on Amazon the one that is clear so I will be trying that as well once I get that and yes I'm excited I liked this product way back when but the only reason I didn't continue to use it was because of the fact that it was not as easily accessible as my Eco Styler gel but we're gonna put this to the ultimate test and see if this really works for my hair now so once I rinse this out I will come back to you so we can test this out and give you my thoughts on the deep conditioner. So yeah, I wanted too. to come on really quick before I rinse this out and just show you what my hair is looking like. It's very soft and very detangled and my curls look very hydrated and they feel very hydrated and yeah so this is what my hair is looking like with the deep conditioner in it and I'm going to rinse it out and then I will show you my results after I rinse the deep conditioner out but here you go hi guys I wanted to come back and show you what my hair is looking like now that I have taken the deep conditioner out my hair is very moisturized and soft and I can see shine so I'm really happy with the deep conditioner this is my second time using it and I wanted to come on and just give you my impressions of it I love it so I will definitely be using it and continuing to have this deep conditioner in my hair each and every wash day. Now I'm going to start styling my hair for my leave-in. I'm going to use the Talia Wajid Curly Curl Cream. I mentioned this on my channel before. I decided to pick it up again and use it again because I love it. It's got a thick Next consistency. product we are using is the Wetline Extreme Gel. This is in the blue. It has a um, extra firm hold. And first I'm going to do my edges with it. If you see me looking this way, I'm looking at my mirror. And I'm using the palms of my fingers to really smooth the gel in and to really get it on my edges. And that's what I'm doing. I'm also going in with my headband. This is a soft headband that I bought from the beauty supply store. 
and I'm just adding a headband and then I'm going to go back in and do some more swooping for my edges but I'm using my fingers and not a brush because my edges are a little on the thinner side and I don't want to do anything that's going to that's going to pull out or damage my edges so now I'm going to take the gel and start working that through my hair uh, that's about as much as I have and I'm just going to go work it through and just add it in and work it through and so far it's working well with the curl cream so it's not like they're not pairing well it's thick as well as a pretty thick consistency much like eco but it does glide through my hair I'm noticing that it's gliding through pretty well And it has a very nice smell to it. It's, I can't put my hands on it, but it smells, actually it smells a little like apple. So that's a good thing. It doesn't have an unpleasant smell, which is great. And I make sure that I have raked it through all the sections of my hair. like so I'm just going to go right here and just add a little more right here and I always make sure that I add that a that leave into my crown of my hair to give that moisture before I add any sort of styling gel to my hair so, so far, this is what I have going on. It is thick and it seems like it's going to give me a very strong hold between the two products. And I even like the curl cream so much, I could probably use it as a one product wash and go. And if you would like to see that, then let me know in the comment section and I will do a one product wash and go with the curl cream. But this is what I have going on so far, and I really like it. I like the way that my hair feels, and the way that it, it looks so far. So, my method of my wash and go for me, with my hair being shorter, and I like to try to maximize my length as much as possible, is I'm going to let this um, air dry for about maybe 30 to 45 minutes and then I'm going to take this and band and I'm going to diffuse with it in bands with it banded and I will come back once my hair is completely dry to show you the final result so I'll be back hey guys I'm back and my hair is completely 100% dry I let it air dry for about 30 minutes and then I banded in sections. I had about six sections banded and then I let that sit for a few minutes, maybe about five, ten minutes. And then I took my blow dryer, my diffuser, and just blow dry and stretched each section and this is what I've got it'll be even more stretched tomorrow because I'll probably take it and band it to go to sleep tonight in just a few big bands and it'll be even more stretched tomorrow and here are my final thoughts on all the products that I used first the deep conditioner I like this deep conditioner it's very thick but it, and it breaks my hair really really soft very smooth it was very easy to detangle with and 
my hair was very moisturized after using it. So I really liked this deep conditioner. And as far as strength is concerned, I feel my hair is stronger. Not necessarily because of the deep conditioner, because this is only the second time okay. I used it. Next product is the Talia Waji Curly Curl Cream. I don't have to say much about this product because I've mentioned it before on my channel. I love this product. It's thick and it does weigh my hair down, which I like because that gives me length to my curls. And it's very moisturizing. And also, it gave me great curl definition. So I may try this as a one product wash and go and see how it works in my hair for that. And maybe I will do a video using this product and testing it out to see how long my curl definition lasts before I have to wash my hair again. So stay tuned for that. And also on the Wetline Extreme Gel, I like this product a lot. It's, it gave me great curl definition. It was easy to apply to my hair. I also found it great for my edges really laid down those edges and I like that and my hair looks really good it has a little bit of a cast which is okay because I know that that means that my wash and go is going to last me a couple of days because it has hold to it and it was easy to work with and I like it just like I did two years ago the only reason I stopped using it was because everybody was big on eco styler at that time and also this was a little bit harder to to find and now I know where I can find it and where I can get it from so I'm definitely going to be continuing to purchase this I also have the clear gel which is coming soon I ordered that as well and I will do a video on that one as well. Let you know my thoughts on that one. Because that, that clear one was the one I originally started with years and years and years ago. They didn't have all these colors. They didn't have the blue, the green, and they have like a, a black protein one. They didn't have all of those when I first uh, used this product. It was only the clear. So I'm going to be testing out the clear as well again to see if I really like it, but the blue, I like a lot. It's really holding well to my hair, and I even use it on my daughter's hair, and it's the only gel that's really held down her edges. So, I'm, I'm happy with that, and yeah. So this was a really good wash and go. Uh, follow me on Instagram so you can see how it looks as the days go on. I will be showing you how it looks and how my hair holds up through the following days so make sure you're following me on instagram as well click like and subscribe and hit that notification bell become a part of the nvp family i will see you guys next time